Hey everyone! So this past Sunday I asked y'all to ask me some questions on my Instagram and here is what you all asked. Sunday I asked y'all to ask me some questions on my Instagram and here is what you all asked. So first up is, hey it's Hibba, puppies or kittens? Okay guys, I have mentioned that I'm a puppy person so many times before. I'm a total dog person, like, oh my gosh, you have no idea. So definitely puppies. It's Richie Aberdeen asks, I saw masks with emotions written on them and you were removing it from their faces. What was the inspiration for the song and what were the visuals that you gave? He was talking about uh, Unpredictable in the music video. So the um, meaning of the song really meant that, you know, you don't have to be afraid to be who you are. You can be unique and yourself because everyone wants to know who you are inside. And I think that's really important. I read a book a while back and everything was so monotonous in that world and everything was repeating over and over and everything was just perfect. But to me, I think being different and unique is very important, so that's what uh, lifting the masks off their faces was. I was basically letting them know not to be afraid to be who they are. <laughs> so next is um, Masumi0911. Uh, he says, Hi, my questions are, how do you keep yourself so positive and how many hours do you practice your singing skills every day? I keep myself so positive, I just remember that you know, God has a plan for me, and um, you know, I love spending time with my family. That that keeps me going, and um, of course, Abigail. I love spending time with her. So you know, just being with my family keeps me going. And positive thoughts, guys. Always positive vibes in your head. You don't need any negative thoughts. Just remember that you know who you are is beautiful, and you just gotta remember to stay positive. And um, how many hours do I practice my singing? Uh, so. Before I perform, uh, I usually practice all throughout the week, but regularly I practice uh, like two days a week, so that's good. <laughs> I don't want to wear my voice out too much. Um, the next question, Perez Jose 305, what are some of the challenges you face as your singing acting career is taking off? Um, uh, one thing that has given me a roadblock over time is puberty, so we all know that road. Um, but I've actually been dealing it with it pretty well, and my voice has been changing, if you recognize. <laughs> um, but, you know, just always remembering to stay on that track and to remember to just keep yourself steady and always remembering to just keep yourself in that mindset. And you just gotta remember that your voice is going to change over time, and you gotta adapt to that. Keep up your technique and all that. And, um, yeah, of course, acting. I love acting and always remembering to just, you know, practice. I, I, I love just like talking to myself um, and practicing my own acting skills and voiceover skills too. So that's always fun. <laughs> um, so the next question is um, Nema.p25, right over here. You are such a big inspiration to me. I love your voice so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Who gave you the idea to start singing and when did you start singing? So, uh, my idols growing up was uh, Whitney Houston, Alicia Keys, Mariah Carey. I loved them all and they really gave me the inspiration to be who I am. And of course, my parents, they always kept me going. And um, when, I st when did I start singing? I started singing when I was three. And it was so funny, just me singing in the back of the car, you know, singing along to one of my favorite songs, Lady Antebellum. Um, amazing artist. I still love her today. Um, and that's really how it took off. I loved singing in public restrooms too, you can't blame me. I love the acoustics there. Um, but then I got put in voice lessons at five years old, and I think that's really what helped me um, develop my own voice and uh, preserve it, basically. Uh, thank you for that question. And um, next is Shelby PS. What is your favorite type of pasta? My favorite type of pasta, 
Um, I love uh, penne pasta and uh, fettuccine alfredo. My favorite. Gosh, I love it. But um, I definitely prefer fettuccine alfredo. <laughs> um, another of one of the questions. Um, what are you gonna be for Halloween, Angelica? Okay, I've been dwelling on this for so long. Um, but I want it to be a surprise. I gave a hint on my Instagram a while ago, and if you want to go check that out, it's there! You can try and figure it out. I absolutely love the character that I'm going to be. So awesome. Hey guys! I'm back! Um, it was getting a little chilly outside, so I wanted to get my jacket. <laughs> Gotta love the fall weather. Um, so for our last questions, I wanted to do a rapid-fire little thing. So our first question is, will you ever visit Greece. I love you. Oh, I love you too. Um, I've always wanted to visit Greece, so of course, heck yes. <laughs> um, our next question is, what was your favorite song to sing on America's Got Talent? P.S. Feel the Magic EP is awesome. Thank you so, so much. Um, I think my favorite song to sing uh, on America's Got Talent was Symphony. Gotta love that one. <laughs> um, next is, uh, is your baby sister want to be a singer one day? Uh, we don't really want to pigeonhole her, so she can be whatever she wants to be, and we'll support her either way. Uh, next is, do you want another sibling? If so, another sister or another brother? Um, honestly, I would love another sibling, and if I had the choice, I would want a brother. <laughs> um, next is, what is your fave song to perform? Uh, I would be probably either Rise Up or Girl on Fire. <laughs> Next is, except from singing, which other artistic thing do you like to do? I love drawing and writing and reading. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite subject in school? Uh, it would either be science or social studies. <laughs> uh, next is, do you have any vocal warm-ups you like to do? Um, so one of my favorites is, me, my, me, me, my, mo, me, my, Mickey, Mickey, my, Mickey, mo, Mickey, my, mo, me, Mickey, my, Mickey, my, mo, me. That one's one of my favorites, and then Lip Trail. That one's a good one, too. <laughs> All right, last rapid-fire question. Taco Bell or Del Taco? None of the above. <laughs> I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day or night, wherever you are, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And feel free to ask more questions on my Instagram. We have to do this more often, guys. This is so much fun. I love you all so much, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>